Automated testing is one of the biggest improvements in the saltwater tank hobby, and recently Coralview announced their Maven, but everyone wants to know, Dave, when are we getting a Maven? Well, I know that's the, the million dollar question, and in and, and all truth and full transparency is, uh, unfortunately, we in this time with this tariff situation, um, while everything is built in the U.S., all of our integrated chips are coming from China, Asia. Just recently made an order with Texas Instruments to start building these PCB boards up, get into full production. And my order says, in waiting, and it's shipping from Shenzhen, China. Okay. I wish I had a better answer for you, but that's kind of just where we are. We haven't been sleeping. This has been something that's very special to me as a hobbyist. I feel like it has to be right, Mark. We, we know the landscape of this automated testing that's going on in our marketplace. And to be honest with you, the reviews aren't exactly great. Yeah. It's kind of, it's hit or miss and everybody's got an opinion. It, to me, this need is, needs to be right. I don't want to put something out and then we got to re create a return program. Yeah. Instead of saying, well, we'll just make a Rev 2 and release that, <laughs> I didn't feel like that was the right thing to do. Okay. Especially with something that's going to retail for like 1200 bucks. So these are the things that are really important you know, to me. Um, I feel like we got one shot to make it right, and that's what I wanted to do. Well, a lot of the hobby wishes that it was out, but it's cool that you're saying, hang on. Yeah. Let's get it out there. Let's test it as yep. best as you can. It's certainly when you get 100 units in the field, you're going to discover stuff. Yep. But you're not, as some companies will do, they'll force something out, do their R&D on the users, and then come back and say, all right, well, just buy Rev2. Yeah. And I, that's why I was like, I can't do this. So you talked about some improvements. Yep. Walk me through some of those. What's better now? You know, the, the biggest thing is, you know, what we're doing is, is a lot different than other people are doing in terms of we're pumping with air the reagent and we're pumping the lines clean after. Okay. We're using where we're isolating the light transmission from the LEDs that read the reagent through this cuvee. There's a, a wall here. Okay. So we're putting, isolating the liquids outside of the device. So let's say it should leak. It's not going to leak inside of here. It's ah. going to leak outside. Okay. Before, if we would place this with magnets, we holding it on and it wasn't lined up properly, it may come on at an angle, Yeah. and then what, the, the reading wouldn't be right. So if it's just at an angle, like this or that, so we put these studs in place. So now, when you put it on, there's no, you can't move this. Yeah, it's not gonna wiggle. Can't wiggle. So now light has a clear path, the optical path. It can't, can't be um, impacted by a false alignment. So that was one of the big things. Dave, I'm also noticing a tray system, which is great for mounting the bottles, but I've got a drive port going down into this tray system. Yep. What's that about? So what we have here is uh, NO3 part two. This reagent has some solids in it, Mark, that what happens is it settles over time. Okay. So we're allowing you to run tests when you want to run tests. So what happens is when it calls for running nitrate, it's going to stir this reagent that may have settled on the bottom, almost like you're going to shake up yeah. before you run a test. Right. We're going to stir this up here, get those solids up and suspended into the, the liquid. Okay. And then it's going to perform its test. Because we're pumping all the reagent that's in the lines after the test back in, there's never any reagent in here okay. that can then get, can, you know, fall out of suspension. So everything goes back in, stirs it, then it draws and makes the test. The Maven's going to run multiple tests. We're going to have multiple bottles. Mm -hmm. Is this mounting solution or some variant, because you're still working on it, yeah. going to be available when we purchase the Maven? Yeah, so this will be an accessory for people that, you know, want to have some organization with their bottles. This is the, the packaging for it. It's just a little cradle. Okay. And I know there'll be people that'll come up with some other innovative ways they want to hold it, but just something that we're offering and that'll be available just to help organize your reagents underneath it. And the, the, all the, the lines here are predetermined because of the connectors that are on them. Okay. So you got maybe two to three feet that you can have it below. And, but I can put on, I can mount this on the wall, right yep. under my stand, I can put that right next to it. It keeps it clean, yep. which us reefers like to do. Yep. 
So now all I gotta do is get my hands on one of these things, but I'm gonna be patient because I want it yeah. as best as it can be getting out there. Appreciate your time to really make it as good as it can be. Yeah. And when it's ready, it's ready. I know you guys are gonna be excited to get it out there. Oh, we are. So we appreciate the support and it's coming. All right, Dave. Well, I know there's some other people want to talk to you. Hey, right, thank you, come Mark. talk to Carlos Appreciate over you. here. All right, buddy. Thank, thank you, sir. You. Have a good Have one. Have a good one. Over here, I'm with another familiar face at Hydros, Carlos, with the blend. Shouldn't it be blend ease because there's two things? No, no, no. There's It's two separate things. This is separate, so we'll talk about that one later, but this is the blend ease. So this looks like an X10. It does, but it's actually more like a upgraded or souped up minnow. Okay, what makes it upgraded and souped up? Okay, so now the minnow, we used to have sand sports and two dosing heads. Yeah. With this one, we have four dosing heads, four sand sports, and we added the two drive ports. So this will run my ATO? Yeah. Yes. So one head can be ATO, well, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium. Yes, but on top of that, it's like, let's say you want to use the heads for chemicals, magnesium, anything. And it's like, you don't have to use a head for an ATO. You have a drive port. You can actually buy one of those 40, uh, the 40 milliliter per minute uh, yeah, yeah, dosing okay. bump, put that in there, and that's your ATO. Or you can buy a little five volt, uh, the 12 volt pump yeah. with the sense port right here, a water level, and you get yourself an ATO. So I don't have to commit a head to the ATO if I don't want to, but this will act, the head can function as an ATO. Exactly, because okay. with the minnow, you have to use a head yeah. as an ATO. Right. Otherwise, you would have to do a Wi-Fi strip or, or combine it with something else. So we decided to do it this way. Upgrade the four heads and add the two drive ports, which is gold. So since it's upgraded, do we have to power this or will it power through command bus? Actually, it, can, it has its own power. Okay. It has its own power. So you don't have to do the command bus. And the reason why is because you have four dosing heads. You need a little more power than what the command bus can give you. Okay. So it could stand alone if you wanted it oh, to. Absolutely. We've got drive ports and sense ports, so in a way, this could be a brain-ish for your tank. Yeah, I was just talking to somebody earlier today, and they're like, I have a fish tank on my desk, yeah. and this is perfect for it. I was looking for something to run my entire tank and those chemicals, and they're like, oh my God, can I buy it now? Unfortunately, we we'll wouldn't have it now. It'll be ready soon, a couple, probably a couple months. Wait, wait. But I mean, you guys like the word soon over here at Coral View <laughs> Hydros. What does soon mean, Carlos? I know, so this one will be summer. Okay. This will definitely be summer. Sometime. And as you can see, it's here, it's running. We've been running it for a long time. And the development was done with the minnow too. Okay, you know. because now I have two minnows on my system. Mm -hmm. Now I can replace two of those with one of those mm -hmm. and keep those minnows for something else. Exactly. That's good, because I'm running out of space on my control board. I was just looking at this before I got on the plane, Carlos. Uh -huh. All right, so that's the blending. What are you going to do with your minnows? Don't, Jimmy, you, Jimmy, come on, buddy, you know. I'm gonna keep them, you never know. I happen to have a spare one, so I was able to use it. No, Jimmy wants them. I know Jimmy wants them, but I'm gonna keep them. Spares are a good thing. You can't be a saltwater tank obvious without spares. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I've got the blenny for dosing, sensing, lots of things, but this is the X5. No, X3S. X3S. X3S for salinity because Correct. there's a salinity port. Absolutely. Okay, so that's this standalone module. Talk to me about this. Exactly. We've been doing hydros for a while. Control 4 and the old, the OGs. The, yeah. the OGs from hydros, they got Control 4, they got the XP8. But sometimes you feel like, okay, and then we release the launch, or we release the, the X10, and it's like, I'm not gonna buy the entire thing just for the salinity port. Yeah. Can you just give us something that we can get some love to the OGs? Yeah. And we're like, you know what, let's do that. Because sometimes I have a whole system that works great, but I don't need to buy an X10 or a launch for just the salinity, so we decided to do the, X, the X3S. So it's a standalone salinity probe, mm -hmm. in a way. But we have sense ports in sense here as well. If we want. Okay, so this is a nice quick way to have salinity. Mm -hmm. So the box, then I have to buy the probe as well. Yes, correctly. So the price on this one is uh, uh, two twenty five. Okay. Two twenty five, and it only comes with the box. That is it. You have to buy the probe separately. Okay. Okay, and the calibration fluids, but it works just like anything else. You can integrate into the collective. You can program it with a Hydros app, simple to use and calibrate. Well, and it's got. Sense ports on her, so it can just be a temperature probe. Absolutely. Backup temperature probe if I mm -hmm. want it. Now, do you guys have a pH probe that hooks into the drive port? No, port? no, 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 no. And this okay. one, uh, yeah, it's a great question because we actually had that happen. Somebody asked us, like, can I, can I also put a pH ORP? Unfortunately, it's a different circuit. Okay. So this was a strictly uh, conductivity. And then if you want pH or ORP, then we have the X3 without the S. Okay. But this can give you an extra temperature probe, mm -hmm. which can never hurt. No, and 
actually you should have a temperature probe in the system somehow because conductivity is very is it varies based on the in the temperature. Okay, so it's going to make it more accurate with the temperature probe, and you give that backup temp sensing. And that's the key. I mean, we talked important. about this before. That backup, backup, backup temp sensing. You should have it, and you should always have the backup temp temperature sensor in a different device. So we can have a temperature probe hooked into the X3S. That's going to make the salinity more accurate. It's going to take it away from the central kind of piece of sensing on our tanks to give us that backup too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Something like this. I mean, look at this system right here. You got the Blenny and you have the Control X3S. This is a small nano tank, 40, 50 gallon tank with salinity here. Now you put a temperature sensor here and I would recommend put a temperature sensor right here. You know, if something were to happen, because it's Murphy's Law, yep. if something were to happen with one of the devices, you always have that one of them has a temperature sensor so that nothing bad happens to your system. And if we want pH or ORP, we can add another box like this and we're off to the races. An X3, yes. Here's a small nano system with salinity, which we know is important in a nano type setup. Yes, because changes happen very quickly. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. Yes. Carlos. I'm, I'm getting one of these. I'm keeping the minnows, Jimmy. You can get your own, buddy. On. Now, just one more thing. The X3S is available now. You can purchase it online now. Take it home with you. Yeah, take it home with you. Okay, so ready to go. This is summer. Yeah, summer. It's coming out. Yes, but you know, you can see it right here. It's done. It's done. It's, it's, you know, it was just a matter of you know timing things. Carlos, always good work. I'm looking forward to upgrading my system. Continue to upgrade and expand my hydros.